The sophisticated rear seat entertainment system, standard on XJ Supersport and optional on other XJ models, allows rear seat passengers to enjoy DVDs, plus audio, music, and games on portable devices. This video will show you the equipment provided and how to easily operate many features. We'll cover the remote, monitors, and headphones. How to set up rear seat entertainment from the front touchscreen. Enjoying a DVD movie and adding another source of entertainment for using the monitors separately. The remote is housed in a cradle in the rear seat armrest. It can be used in the cradle or removed by pressing the very top center. If it's out, remember to point the remote at the monitor for best reception. The 8-inch LCD monitors are in each front headrest, easily viewable for each rear passenger. Two headphones are also included. They are independently controllable Whitefire digital wireless headphones. One button on the side turns the power on and turns it off when not in use. Another button changes the audio channel. There's also a control for volume. From the front seat, load a DVD movie into the slot. On the front touchscreen home menu, touch Audio Video. Then Rear Media. After touching the settings, ensure that the limousine mode is on. This gives control to the rear seat remote. Now it's important that you leave the touchscreen rear media menu or else the rear controls will not work. Any other screen will work. In this example, we'll go back to the home screen. Now we're ready to enjoy rear seat entertainment from the rear seat. First, get comfortable in the back seat. Then with the hard keys on the remote, press the home button to turn it on if you need to and select either the left or right monitor to control. A telltale light appears just below the key. On the remote touchscreen, touch I want to watch. You'll see you have a choice of sources. Select DVD CD. Now you have control of the DVD. Press menu if the menu's not showing on the monitor. Use the arrows to choose a segment and then enter to play. Normal video functions, play, pause, and stop are all available with the remote. Remember, you can use the wireless headphones. These are especially useful when the other rear seat passenger wants to use another audio video source. Let's see how that works. Plug an iPod or other portable media device into the rear media interface USB socket in the rear seat armrest to play audio or video. AV sockets are also available for audio and video. Please note that older iPod devices may not be compatible. On the remote, touch the hard buttons for the screen you want, then Home if needed. Touch I want to watch, then My Devices and Rear USB. Now you can control the video or audio from the remote. Once the headphones for the second passenger are turned on and set to the proper channel, both rear seat passengers can enjoy their own personal entertainment selections. Three other features should be noted. If video is installed on a flash drive using DivX software, you have the capability of putting up to 32 movies on a single stick. For those that are technologically knowledgeable, this is a great feature. The rear seat remote can control all of the vehicle cabin's audio, even audio in front. You do this by touching cabin audio, then cabin audio on off. You can also control the rear seat entertainment from the front touchscreen, important with children in the back. That happens when you have the rear media control screen on the front touchscreen. It locks out control from the rear. Refer to the XJ Owner's Handbook and Rear Seat Entertainment Quick Start Guide for more details on enjoying all of the features of Rear Seat Entertainment.